latest start with the finals position, get enough time to be ready for round one? Yeah, look, we've um, you know we've said in the past that we've, we've probably had to cram a bit more into a shorter period of time in this pre-season, but we've certainly trained a lot smarter and more efficient than, than what we have uh, previously. And you know, certainly the nine days in Dubai, flat out sort of gave us an edge um, compared to last year. Just compared to last year, how much of a different feel is there amongst the playing group coming off the really good season that you had? Yeah, look, there's, there's obviously a lot more expectation on us this year and um, you know, we, we're quite happy to take that on board and you know, we're aware that teams are going to be coming after us this year as opposed to us going after them and um, it's a challenge that we're happy to accept. Um, you know, the guys, I think in terms of the way we're, we're moving the ball, we're you know, a step ahead of last season. You know, Ken came in and implemented a whole new game plan and um, you know, we're a year advanced from there so I think we're in a good spot. So that will stand you good stage. You said there'll be challenges this year. Um, a lot of things went right for you last year. So the, 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 the year with the ball movement, that'll be a real plus for you. Yeah, absolutely. It's um, you know we've still got you know, 35 guys, 40 guys that were on the list from last year that know exactly the way we want to play, and it's just all about um, educating the younger guys, getting them up to speed with the way we want to go about things, and um, you know they've really taken it on board uh, very quickly. So. Uh, you know, we're, we're really positive in the um, in the position that we're at at the moment. Are you confident your shoulder problems are over once and for all? <laughs> uh, look, um, you know, last year was a bit of a freak incident. I think if, if that uh, had happened to anyone, I think their shoulder probably would have blown. So, uh, unfortunately, it was me again. But um, that's just the way it goes. And oh, look, it's yeah, shoulders are um, sort of. They're hard to avoid. It's it's like it's a contact sort of game, and it's what you've got to put up with. So um, it's a risk, but uh, I'm pretty confident in the rehab that I've gone through, and you know, it's as strong as, as what it was prior to the operation. So I've got no problems there. And your personal aims for this year, mate? Oh, look, as Ken touched on before, just trying to improve and um, you know consistency on game day. I, you know, I think I probably lacked that a little bit last year. Um, Obviously got a little bit of work to do with the Taggers, which I'm looking forward to this year as well. So, yeah, but look, I'll just be looking to play my role and, and um, have an impact on game day, which is the most important thing. So you're saying looking forward to shaking off Taggers, in what respect? Oh, look, it's another challenge, I suppose, and um, we're all competitors and we all love challenges in life, I suppose, and um, it's another one that would probably be thrown at me this year, and it was a little bit last year, and um, you just look forward to those, those types of challenges, I think. So rather than be afraid, you're taking your head on. Yeah, absolutely, and uh, I think it's the attitude you've got to have. You, you can't sort of shy away from it. You can't be afraid. Um, you know, of those types of challenges, you've got to, you just got to say, bring them on. And um, you know, I'll get plenty of support from the guys around me, no doubt, and um, that'll hold us in good stead. Are you also a better place to do it. You know, when you come up against a tag you've played against before, the second, third time round, than you were first time. Yeah, I, I guess you you learn things from guys that you've played on in the past, and. I'll still lean on guys like Kane and Bokey, these guys that have been around the traps for a little while and um, you know, have been in those types of roles. I'll, I'll still learn plenty from them as well. So what sort of things do you learn? Oh, look, you, you learn the strength and weaknesses of, of your opposition and where you can get a little edge over them, um, little tricks of the trade around stoppage, uh, you know, just gaining a metre of, of a gap on your opponent just to try and get the ball is, um, is vital these days. and uh, they're just little things you, you pick up from those guys around you. So this is a year you've got to take the next step, obviously, as you're saying. Yeah. Oh, look, I'll, I'll be looking to improve it again. Um, you know, every player should, every every player does in this competition. They, you know, you've got to keep improving to stay ahead of the game, I suppose, and that's what everyone, every one of us will be looking at doing, and um, you know, having a real impact on game days is, is going to be my major, major focus this year. And you must love your midfield depth, because Sandos talked up Crows midfield, uh, but you've got plenty of bikes that can rotate through there with Parallack and White yep. joining that group now as well. Yeah, we do. We've uh, you know we've added plenty of guys um, through our midfield over the last couple of years, with obviously with Angus and Brad coming to the club in the last two or three years as well, so um, having those guys to add a bit of depth is going to be great. We've got plenty of guys that ro can rotate through the forward line and at half back as well, so um, it all counts and uh, you know, it's going to be better off for us at, you know, being a, a bit more of a running game this year, it's, it's going to help us absolutely.